Generic drugs play a critical role in the U.S. healthcare system, bringing down costs and helping millions of people access treatment. In fact, the Food and Drug Administration has approved more than 32,000 generics. But how does that approval process work? Let's take a look. Manufacturers can develop a generic drug only after patent exclusivity for the original brand name drug expires. To get FDA approval, manufacturers must meet several requirements. First, there are requirements about the drug itself. The generic drug must be pharmaceutically equivalent to the brand name drug that came before it, meaning it's the same type of product and takes effect at the same speed. The active ingredient must be the same, and the right amount of that active ingredient must get to the right place in the body at the right time. The inactive ingredients must be safe. Generic drugs and their brand name counterparts can have minor differences, so long as it does not affect how the drug functions. Finally, manufacturers must do stability tests to show that the generic drug's shelf life spans a reasonable period of time. Then there's the question of manufacturing. The company developing the generic drug must be capable of making it correctly and consistently according to FDA standards. Packaging must preserve the quality of the generic drug. And the label or prescribing information must be the same as the information that comes with a brand name drug. Only after the generic drug checks all these boxes can it get the FDA stamp of approval. The process takes time and expertise, but the FDA plays a critical role in ensuring safety and efficacy. Once approved, the generic drug can increase patient access, lower overall healthcare costs, and even save lives. Learn more at genericsproject.org.